All right, guys, if you don't know who I am, my name is Coach Javi. I run this YouTube channel, clearly. And uh, I am the assistant coach for Detroit City FC, which is Detroit's professional soccer team. Football, if you want to call it football. Don't really care. Don't want to get into that argument, even though you guys are probably going to get into that argument down below. I coached at the Division One level with Gardner-Webb University, and now I'm the assistant coach here coaching, uh, coaching the men's side. So that's a little bit about me. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Today, today we are talking about highlight videos. What we're going to do today is I am actually going to be reviewing, breaking down and analyzing a highlight video of Detroit City FC player Jalen Chrysler, who has made this video in hopes of obviously getting an opportunity at a higher level. So that's what we're going to do. There's a few things to keep in mind and we're going to run through it. So uh, let's get started, shall we? All right, perfect. So right off the bat, one thing that I liked that he did was he spent no more than 10 seconds on the intro just introducing himself, basically giving a few bits of information, uh, his height, his weight, um, what was his last team that he played on, just things that will be in the minds of the coaches as they watch this video, but not all of his information, all of his accolades, because he left that for the end. So I like that right off the bat. He gave us just a few bits of information, but the video started just like that. We're straight into the highlights already. Straight off the bat, we're going into the defending. Obviously, he's a center back, so that's what he wants to start off with, some of his best plays defensively. And we'll see right away he gets a few off the goal line clearances. If you're going to do the arrow thing or a highlight of yourself so that you can let them know which one you are because it might be a little bit far away, they might know. Put it really quickly because as soon as they see the arrow, they know it's going to be you. So you don't have to... It just delays the video a little bit when, when I see every single play an arrow pointing to someone and it lasts like two seconds and you're just there like and then back into the play so if you're gonna put the arrow or the highlight just highlight it quickly and then let it go get on with the play so that it, it's, it's just kind of one of those pet peeves that it just delays the video and it takes a while That one's a good play. I like that one because it's nothing super flashy, but it's one of those plays that shows experience and a high level of intelligence. Rarely are you going to see the center back so confident in their abilities where they're going to be able to chest it with the goalkeeper. That just means that Jalen knows exactly where his uh, goalkeeper is. He knows if there's any attackers around him and he felt confident playing that ball. So a lot of center backs in that situation would just clear it because they panic. Smart play from Jalen. pause it there so so far what i like that jalen's done is he's put even if even in just the defending topic he's put a variety of different 
um, situation. So he hasn't just put him going into slide tackles and winning the ball off of slide tackles, but he's put 1v1 situations where he delays, he delays, and then he wins the ball. He puts in the slide tackles, obviously, where he goes on a 50-50 and he wins it. Um, and it also shows how good his positioning is defensively when uh, our team loses the ball. So a lot of coaches at the higher levels are going to be seeing what his positioning looks like off the ball so that when it does come to a 50 50 situation or another person dribbling at him whether he's in the right space in the right areas You'll see he's not just going into every single challenge right away stabbing and stepping in he's waiting for his right time he's delaying long enough for his teammates to get back and he's avoiding following the attacking player which is good all right so here's the range of passing uh what i like about this is that as a defender typically what you want to do is show all your long balls but he's trying to show that he has a wide variety of of, of range when it comes to passing so there's some short passes in here there's some long passes in here it just shows that he's good with the ball at his feet he can pass out of the back and it's not just him getting the ball every single time and hitting a long ball The other thing that he's doing really, really well is he's picking out these passes and breaking lines of pressure. So instead of just getting it and playing it to the other center back or playing it to the fullback or playing it back to the goalkeeper, he's actively looking. Can I go forward and break a line of pressure? And if I can, it makes it easier going forward with my team. So that's good. All right, so now we're getting into heading. Obviously, as a center back, that's going to be one of the most important parts. So it's good if you want to put a, if you're a center back, if you want to put a section on, on heading or aerial battles or aerial play, um, that's obviously going to win you a few brownie points there because you need to be able to win the balls in the air because that's it's going to happen a lot. Another good thing that he does is he's not just showing the ones defensively, but he's also showing the ones that he wins maybe in the attacking areas or in certain situations where he absolutely needs to be there um, so we don't get scored on.
And then, finally, at the end of the video, we get into his accolades, his awards, some more statistics. So the reason I say leave this at the end is because coaches will forget it if you put it at the, at the beginning. Make sure that they're the best statistics or the best awards that you could, that you could get and that they're credible. So um, he's got the NPSL season and the Members Cup because with Detroit City FC, we played in, uh, in the summer and then we played in the fall. And off of all of his stats, very, very good. So 15 games played, 14 games started, and he had 11 clean sheets, 10 of which were straight. So obviously as a defender, if you're getting clean sheet after clean sheet for 10 games straight, you're doing something right. Um, he put that we won the Great Lakes Conference, that we were a Midwest Region finalist in the summer and in the Members Cup, played 10 games. He started all 10. He led the team in minutes, which is good. That means he played the most out of any player on the team. We only conceded four goals. That's less than half a goal per game, if my math is correct. Yeah, and he had a goal, which was a game winner and six clean sheets out of 10. Again, solid performance out the back. Members Cup champions. Uh, he was in the Members Cup team of the month on August. He put beat Atlas FC of Liga MX and New York Cosmos. So one of the most important parts about a highlight video is the credibility part of it. So if you're playing in a good league against good teams, people are gonna take you a little bit more seriously because they know that it's a high level that you're playing at. If you're putting a highlight video together of you playing in Sunday League, then no matter how good you look, people are always going to discredit you because you're playing against older, out of shape, retired guys in the Sunday League, right? If you're playing in a really low level of high school or in a really low level club, even if you're doing well, you don't have that credibility. So what I liked about Jalen's video, and I don't know if you guys noticed, is that it showed on the top what team he was playing against just because he got that from our uh, actual TV broadcast. If you don't have that, you can put the title of the team that you were playing against in the bottom if it's a good team. So for example, we played against Atlas from Liga MX. If you guys are Mexican, you know who Atlas is. They came for a friendly. We ended up beating them two to one. So even though it was a friendly, teams are gonna be looking at that and saying, wow, they beat a Liga MX team. We also beat the New York Cosmos, which is a historic club. If anybody knows about soccer slash football, you know about the Cosmos. The credibility of his video is fantastic because teams are gonna look at this, especially teams at the highest levels, and they're gonna know that he was playing already at a high level, getting all these awards, and obviously performing really, really well. Well, according to his highlight video so the last thing that i want to touch on is the time some of you guys are saying should it be a shorter video should it be a longer video the time doesn't necessarily matter much it'll matter obviously if you only have a 30 second highlight video it's not going to look good but the most important part is that you put all of the best plays only you don't put any plays that are on the fence or on the border you only put the very very best plays because if you put a play that shows any type of weakness in your highlight video if that play made it to your highlight video then that probably means you didn't have that many clips and you probably didn't do very well. If you put only the best clips and your highlight video is only three minutes, it's better than a highlight video that's six minutes with some average plays or some not so good plays. Jalen fortunately had about seven minutes of a really, really good highlight video, which kept me and is gonna keep other coaches interested in watching the whole way through. So just to recap, quick start with basic intro, good basic intro, some important information. He broke it down into categories. You don't absolutely have to do that, but he felt that as a defender, he wanted to showcase different parts of his game. And that was fine because it was organized into categories that are relevant to his position. If you're gonna put arrows or highlight yourself, make sure that you make it quick. Don't spend too long because like I said, nobody wants to see that before every single play. Credibility against good teams. He's got some solid teams that we played against and we beat. So it's gonna help in his case, whether he can play at a high level. You can end with the accolades because that's the last part of the video. That's what the coaches are gonna see and remember. And then th that's gonna really just be the cherry on top of the video to a good highlight video at least. And time-wise, make sure, don't worry so much about the time, only put the best plays and that's it. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to write them down in the comment section down below. What kind of videos you guys wanna see next? Ooh, ooh, I almost forgot. Ooh, this is the best part right here. The best part is this. So I thought I would make a really cool series on highlight videos. If you want to send me your highlight video, I will do a video breaking down and analyzing your videos that you send to me. So what you should do is go to my email. It's coachhavi at hotmail.com. Send me your highlight video or a link to YouTube. And just in the subject line, just put highlight video and your name. And, um, and I'll pick a few and we'll do a few different episodes in this series where I break down your videos, basically just give you my thoughts of what you need to change, what you should keep, what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, and hopefully that helps you when you're uh, creating the final highlight video to send out to coaches. So that's it for this one, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Coach Javi is gonna take this channel to the next level in 2020, so I need your help. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, obviously the notification bell, 
so you get notified every single time I upload a video. That's it for this one. Until next time, and adios, muchachos.